left one slightly backwards. You see? This. It's funny, but it's a big change. I tried it myself as well. So when you go two and three and four, that's blocking also for me. But if it goes two and three and slightly behind, I actually have ah, the feeling of it allows me to get on my foot. Try it. It's really, really different feeling. <laughs> yeah? So let's count so we get a bit more tempo together. So two, three, and a four. And one and a two and a three and a whoop, boom, 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 a two and three and a four and one and. All right. So guys, look good up until here into the fan. Now the next step here, I already saw you thinking out there. There's a step on that left foot as well. Yeah. Either if you dance it as a classical forward walk turning. Yeah? Or with a swivel through your left foot, swiveling there to the side foot. But it has an action, and that's why I go through that neutral position. It's very clear if it's a forward walk turning, my, my train is still going around that left foot, continuing forward, and now I change through there. If I do the swiveling action, it's very clear that I transfer the weight, and through the, that neutral, I swivel through my foot to place it. But I'm going through the neutral position. That's why I changed my direction. Yeah? So what I saw was that you're going a bit there. And I didn't see the finish of that Cuban action there. Together. That we now dance that together there. Yeah? So it's the coordination of that clockwork underneath. Yeah, I would like someone to come in the middle and then share what they feel with us. Not share as in words, but just dance Try. with us. Yeah, so we just do it together. Who would like to come over here? You would like to come over. Do you have a partner? Right. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll, I'll catch you later, okay? So can you try with us? All right. <laughs> All right, so two, three, four. This would be the two. Yeah, so start from, from here. Start from here. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Two, three, and four. Step on the four. four yes. Yes. Great. Now transfer the weight. And. Here. Place the foot. Two. Nice. Now go back onto the foot. And three. Great. And collect your feet. Four. four. And transfer the weight. Wow. Yes. And it's exactly, to be very clear in your own, for me, it's, it's like meditation. I'm only thinking about my own self. And because of that, it goes through. I always said that the connection is like a telephone line. Yeah? I'm not talking into the line. I'm talking into the I'm talking through my telephone. This is my telephone. So I know exactly what I have to do. Transfer the weight. Take the step. Transfer. That's the check. Very good. Transfer the weight back and now collect your feet. That was Very good. good. The important is for you to time everything. So really, really follow these tempos. Step. Transfer a bit. Step, transfer. Step, better transfer. Step, better transfer. Right? So this is what you have to teach. A little bit more timing it together because otherwise you do one thing that does another thing. Right? So that inner clock. Yes? Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to come over and do it with us? Yes? So So have a look as well because the best way we actually learn is to see. see. How the, how the difference is, and often we share the same problems. Two and two and four and one and two All right. and three. Take the next one and four and one. Good. Okay? Good. Yes. <laughs> Good. Can you share a bit what you feel is, is the difficult part, or what have changed? Like, if you think about some of these things, what has made it easier? Much easier I feel when we are connecting those way together. I feel much more weight towards him. The connection is constant. So this is much easier as we are starting here. Yeah. Now, difficult as from here. I'm feeling that much gap. Yes. Yeah. I'm losing the connection there. I don't know why. Yes. Yeah. This one is fine. No, no. Either I 
even too much resistance to feel the connection, then it's hard. If I follow, then it's empty. Yes. I saw many of you nodding at the background because it's also a feeling that we get. Okay, let's try to answer that. Yes? For me, as a receiver of the information from you, at that very moment, I'm, let's say, on my right foot. What I saw you try to do, which was very good, was to get on the foot quite soon. Yes? Which is good if you do it alone. But in this particular case, after I place my foot, I should actually almost feel like I stay longer on my right leg. Right leg, right leg, right leg, right leg. Right leg. Right? Because when you did that, whoa, you get into that low position immediately. Versus from here, in other words, we're still on a pole, still on a pole, still on a pole, still on a pole. We push just as I'm about to step into the next step. That's one of the reasons why you feel that gap. Yeah? And the other thing is that when you close your feet, you have to communicate that into the arm. So at this very moment when he places the leg, zoom, 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 place the leg here, there should be a clear feeling of there's no more road. That's a physical lead. Now from here he would allow me to continue on that leg so I can actually complete. Versus just a, boom, a wall and now I can't do anything. He needs to allow me by lowering this arm further down so I can arrive on my leg. Yeah, so can you just try it with us? Let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. Yep. So here and the zoom, boom, So stop for a second, slow. You pendle on the side, now from here, place your heel and work longer on the back leg. Longer on the back leg. Zoom, so longer on the back leg. Through and now step lower the arm as she comes. Lower as she comes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if you go here and she wants to go further, she can't. You have to lower this arm so she goes forward. Yes? yes? Yeah? Good. So guys, whenever we have to lead the girl, like when it's in a rotation like this, right, is to feel the sensitivity of when is that actually finished. So now she's arrived. So now I can clearly feel that I turn her around that center. Boom. And now I move up. Yeah? But that's where it's going to see, uh, see sometimes the warm cheetah. And already now it starts turning. That's it just even a lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah? But from here, now you really feel that, 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 that. And that's also where we can see the beauty of the four and one and a two and a three and a four and one. Yeah? That absorption, absorb that and one underneath yourself and use that to move up. Yeah, can you just try the same thing? And guys, be aware of that lowering. And girls, be aware of that work from the back leg. If you don't need to get onto that leg. Alright? So, two, three, four, and one. And a two, and a now three, and a four, and one.
That's it. Now rotate and keep that connection going. Get the leg. Yes. Keep coming with the leg. Good. Step forward. Keep driving. Keep driving. Keep driving. Good. Now step into the next one and lock that. Stop that. Good. Now continue going back. Take your elbow with you. Yes. Walk. Walk. And stop. Yes. The feeling I get is you're not going to elbow to this. So when you come forward, it comes to me. I'm you. I'm you. Yeah? So when you do it, I feel this. Right? You do the, the action here, but nothing here. So stay, don't guess, don't guess. Just square. This being. Yes? This. And then when I step here, so you actually stop with the elbow and then you take it forward. Yeah? So this feeling of connecting the arm to the hip is very important. Yeah? So try to exercise that a little bit. Alright? How does it feel, guys? Clearer? Any clearer? If it starts to feel too complicated, just switch back to the four components we spoke about and make sure you time it. Foot transfer pendulum rotation. Foot transfer pendulum rotation. Absolutely, everything that we talked about today, yes, she should practice on her own. Exactly that step. And then the transfer, the pendulum rotation, everything you should do. Can you show me what you mean? Yeah, so when you go back here, Tom, 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 Tom. So what you should practice is first get that pendulum clear, this clear first. Whoa, stop. And then from there, rotate onto the same line and then settle on the one more time, so come back, she will go, step, transfer the weight, go in, pendulum on the leg, pendulum on the leg, then just rotation, and then settle in the end, step. So transfer, pendulum, rotation, settle in the She's sitting a lot in the hips, a lot of hips, she's going to get cheap like that. Yeah, make sure whenever you work, you work with her, right? Like your dear teacher, her teacher. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, the feeling is that this goes too much outside. Yeah. Versus that's when I tell this in, this in, and then you rotate just around this, not this. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. This is the side. Yes. Rotation brings the leg. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, you have no chance of working. Yes. Yes.